Tenetanto Katoa, good evening. And a warning, our lead story is confronting. Children's Minister Calvin Davis has revealed 11 staff members working at Oranga Tamariki Youth Justice Facilities have now been stood down. But a former staff member says more need to go and that young offenders effectively run the facilities. It comes a day after News Hub exclusively published video of an MMA-style fight that was filmed and encouraged by staff. Nick Trubridge has more. Even staff who think they've seen the worst of the worst are shocked by this video. I was gobsmacked, to be honest, because... Um, Oranga Tamariki talk it like, oh, yep, this is a safe haven for the kids, all that sort of stuff. But staff standing there, watching it, encouraging that behaviour, is just not on. The former employee here at Korowai Manaki in Auckland did get their two weeks training. They learnt about personal trauma and safe physical restraint, but it fell short. With the the threatening and the trying to intimidate you and stuff like that. I don't feel like there was enough training around that. And it's far from the only incident. There have been seven escapes across residences since January, at least one more brawl like this, and claims young people are coaxed into compliance with items like vapes and McDonald's. News Hub's been told of another incident here at Korowai Manaki in February where a number of young people again escaped onto the roof. But preceding that, we understand there was a riot in one of the units where property was badly damaged and staff were injured. I felt really extremely unsafe. It sounds like the boys run the place. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. I feel like um, the boys say something they want and they just, at the snap of a finger, get it. But in this case, they say staff filming are the problem. There needs to be a complete change in staff. Um, I think a lot of staff need to be stood down um, because of how... More than have already been? More than what have already been stood down um, because there are a lot of things that aren't talked about that happen. Meanwhile, there are calls for Children's Minister Calvin Davis to stand down. This is the guy who called for the resignation of Sam Lotto Ega for adults fighting in prison all those years ago. He now has children doing the same thing, untold sexual abuse of children, total dysfunction. He's got to go. But Davis is digging in. I am responsible for making sure that the children of New Zealand are safe and by having this review and finding the problems and fixing them, that is taking responsibility. Despite scenes like this <laughs> happening under his watch. So Nick, what have Oranga Tamariki had to say on these developments today? Well, in short, Rebecca, uh, not much since we brought these new claims to their attention. We asked for the Deputy Chief Executive today. We're told that she wasn't available for interviews. We asked for the Chief Executive and we're told simply, no, sorry, he's not available either. Uh, we asked the Prime Minister to front on this issue. It is, of course, one of his senior ministers who is now at the centre of this. We were told the Prime Minister is not available either. So uh, going to ground, I think, is one way of describing this. What did we want to ask them about? Well, it was several things, really. Uh, the first was purchasing and supplying contraband for the children in state care. In this case, that was one thing. Uh, we wanted to ask about injuries, not only to staff, but also, and arguably, just as importantly, the children themselves and then finally as well training because what's become really clear here is there's a real disconnect between what uh, staff who went into these places were trained to deal with and what as you've just seen in that story they ended up being faced with so plenty of questions but not a lot of answers today on the back of these claims. Yeah perhaps more to come thank you Nick Trubridge for your reporting.